What is going on guys, Shaddix here, and welcome back to another video where today I think we're about to take on May, and hopefully we're going to beat the Four Tree City Gym. Oh, we could have came all this way without uh, having to battle May. Alright, well we're going to wait to battle her for just a second because there's some items down here that I want. And then we also get a new encounter after... Well, we get one in Four Tree... No, we don't get one in Four Tree City actually, do we? Okay, no, we don't. I was thinking there's a Kecleon guarding the gym, but the Kecleon guarding the gym just runs away. So, that's... An oh, a see, a Kingler would have been pretty cool. But, I mean, I do still enjoy the fact that we have a, um... Really? Can't escape, that's unfortunate. Just gonna skip through this battle if I can. What do I mean, can't escape? Get out of here. This is... There we go. Maybe I should put a faster Pokemon out front. Um, I think there's an item in here. There's also Pokemon in here. We need really good items is what we need. Uh, run. Okay, yeah, I definitely need a faster Pokemon out front. That's four in a row. Yeah, okay. Pokemon, what are we putting out front? I guess we're gonna put Shadow out front. Because at least Shadow can run from some things. Yeah, a hard stone. Hooray, that's so super useful. Yay. Uh, typically, this is where I would find the leaf stone, if I'm not mistaken. Or the water stone. Down at the, like, bottom here. Oh, Caterpie. That also would have been useless, so I'm glad we didn't get that. Um, here. No. This is a weird run. Like, there's... Almost nothing down here, but I don't want to run into too many Pokemon either. Okay, so here's the item I'm after. Uh, um, should we take that full restore? What's in the bag that we can get rid of? Probably that hard stone, right? Because I'm never going to use it. Oh, we can get rid of the speed mail. Toss that. We'll toss the X defend. And we'll toss the hard stone. Alright, so that opens up three slots, which in turn opens up two because we just picked up a floor store. All right, and there's, um... Oh, that other grass is from the other part of the route. We should be able to run from that now, perfect. And then we have Maze Battle. I think, actually, hang on, I think there's an item over here. Right? Right here? No? Oh, I thought there was. Hmm. Oh, well, well there, be, there will be an item up that waterfall later on, so... We'll at least be able to come back and get that. There's May. Why, hello. Tracy, where where were you? I was looking for you. It's like, well, you just missed me battling Team Aqua. Thanks for leaving me to battle that by myself. All right, May, don't have a horrible team for me to battle. Well, another Jacqueline. What is with all the Jacklins? Is that, like, that's not just me, right? It's a little messed up that there's been, like, six Jacklins in the last video and a half. So we're gonna bring out Nemo to take on the Shield Dude. I think it said she had four Pokemon. Shouldn't be too difficult to take out, as long as she doesn't have any, like, legendaries. Rock Throw should not do too much. Surf should one shot you. And, yeah. Perfect. You know, one thing I'm scared of doing is doing a randomizer like this on like uh one of the later games after uh the diamond and pearl series i think we'll stick in with this because there's so many legendaries but there's also like um one in particular that if you mess with the um abilities of the pokemon it's just gonna suck and that's uh reggie gigas because typically it has slow start so it doesn't become an, basically a powerhouse and the problem with that uh oh. Oh, we're gonna lose Nemo, aren't we? No. No, we just lost Nemo. We just lost Nemo. Oh man. Unless this one shot. If this one shots. And it didn't. Oh, um, no. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh. That's test number three. I was so excited for Nemo. Oh, 
and now Nemo do be gone, though. Ugh. Okay, well, at least we have Krakena in the back pocket in the PC. I guess that's not bad. Man, I really, I really didn't want to get rid of Nemo so soon. Dang it. Okay. That sucks. So, it looks like before we take on the Fortress City Gym, we have to train up another Pokemon. Because we can't take on uh, the 6th Gym with only uh, 4 Pokemon on our team. Taking it on with 5 might not be the greatest idea. And then we'll Blaze Kick Scissor. Should one-shot it. Perfect. Uh, not Nemo. Uh, well, at least the flower team's not alone now. Now they have big fish. Ah, uh, man. Moment of silence for our fishy friend. Alright, nothing to do with it. Keep it up. Present for you, TM. That'll be fly. Perfect. Alright, well, at least we can get back to the other routes now. Without having to walk all the way there. But we need to beat the Fortree City Gym in order to use it, that's right. Oh well. We should be able to do that, though. That's not a big problem. Uh, we have a couple more battles on this route to do. I think it's just this guy and, like, next dude that's straight up from me. Uh, I guess we'll start with you. Why, hello. I look in the shadows and live in darkness. That is my destiny. Wow, that just sounds awful. That sounds absolutely horrible. Uh, you only have one Pokemon, shouldn't be that hard. And it's only a Hoot Hoot, even better. I like it when the Pokemon you have aren't absolutely crazy. I'm real worried for if someone has like one of the bigger legendaries this late in the game, like a Mewtwo or something. Only because if someone's got like a Mewtwo or like Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, something like that, this late in the game, it's gonna suck because it's gonna be high enough level to where it can actually do some really heavy damage. And now I have to try and wake up. There we go. Alright, that one wasn't too painful. We have some berries coming up as well, but before we take on the gym, we actually have to, um... Ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut, aren't I? Because I have to go train up Croconaw, too. Uh, to get up to this level. Uh, you have two Pokemon. That's not too bad. Mischievous, okay. Uh, Pursuit should one-shot you because you're Ghost-type. Uh, I don't, yeah, I was about to say, Pursuit's not exactly a great move. Okay, can't leave, yep. I need to get to training. Another ghost tech, really? All right. Well, we're just gonna zip through that battle because that was nice and easy, uneventful. Uh, I can't even believe we lost to a Tanglet. See, that's, I know, I know exactly why we lost to a Tanglet. It's because we didn't choose Tangela when we first started the game. Our options were Umbreon, Tangela, and Rattata, I think, when we first started. So that's the entire reason we didn't get a Tangela. Or that we lost to a Tangela. Alright, well let's go put Nemo in the PC, because now we're in Fortree. Alright, buddy. I'm so sorry, Nemo, but you need to go to the dead box. Uh, you do have that Mystic Water that I want to take off you. Place, um... Really? You can't just... Oh, well I could take items out if I want to. Uh, let's see. We're gonna take Georgie out of here and put you in the PC now. And uh, actually, now I gotta go back in there because I gotta move items around. Oh, there is no move item option. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, these games. All right. So first things first, we're gonna put you in here, swap you out, place it down, then exit the PC, then take it out. Item. Take. There we go. So I need to get Georgie up to level 32, which will almost be a for alligator at that point. Not going to be too hard. It is already level 21, but uh, I will be back. I am going to train this guy up before the gym now. Uh, so this is happening at random. I don't... What? I didn't know for alligator evolves at level 30. Oh, wait a minute, that's right. I think it evolves early because Krakena evolves at level 18, so it evolves later than all the starters. Well, okay then. Um, I guess we have a Feraligator in the middle of our training who is poisoned, so we gotta go heal him up. 
Uh, all right, well, we're going to continue training. I want to get it to level uh, 33 like everything else, so we will be back in a second. All right, so Juachi has evolved and is now level 33, caught up to the rest of the team. But before I do anything, I would like to come in here and maybe buy some uh, potions and more Pokeballs if I can, because we do have ac access to Ultra Balls now. Uh, how many do we want to buy? I would like to buy, like, 25 or 30 if we can. And then maybe buy some Super Potions as well. How, oh no, I didn't want to just buy one. How many would we like? Can we go for like... I don't know. I guess 30 as well might be a good idea. And then I don't need to buy any of these because we have a lot of berries and stuff. So I'm not too worried about that. And we'll save ourselves uh, 7 grand if we ever need anything, really. Alright, first things first. Uh, we can't actually take on the Fortree City Gym just yet. Fortree City is one of my favorite cities, to be honest. It's pretty cool. We have to go meet Steven over here. In fact, is there a Kecleon that does battle us in Fortree City? I don't think there is, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess that's not too bad. Uh, Pokemon. Does Nessie still know uh, Cut? Rock Smash and Flash. Uh, I guess we'll teach... No, wait. What does know Cut, then? Rock Smash. Nothing. Nothing. Ah, Shadow Nose Cut. Alright. Well, we're gonna battle you, and then we have, like, what, one or two other people we can battle before we meet up with Steven? And we get a new capture on this route, which will be interesting. Hopefully it's a decent grass type, because we don't have one yet. Hello, Wigglytuff. Meet Georgie. Uh, you guys get to see what it's like to battle with Georgie. Uh, we'll just go with Surf, I guess. Right? That shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, two surfs will take you out. That's fine. Ah, double slap. Not gonna do too much. I did find a Latios in the grass ball training. So it's unfortunate unfortunate that we didn't get one of those. I spent about half an hour training that, uh, our for alligator up here. Uh, need arena. I guess I'll stick with Georgie for now. Why not? Uh, the question is... Do I want to use Surf or do I want to use Body Slam? It looks like I want to use Surf. Please do not poison me. I don't want to have to go all the way back. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, well, I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back. Should we go for our encounter now or wait until... Eh, we'll go for it now. I mean, I guess now we don't have a choice. What do we got? Carvana. Alright, well, that's another water type. Sure, I mean, why not? We can go for Carvana. Perfect, about half damage, and we're going to take a little bit of damage from that rough skin now. I I I'm okay with Carvana. It's not something we're going to be putting on our team, but, I mean, why not? It's a, it's a backup if our water type uh, decides to disappear again. The question is, is are we going to be able to catch it relatively easily? Two, we got three... We are able to catch it nice and easily. Alright, now, what are we going to name this thing? I actually have absolutely no clue. This is Steve. Steve the Carvana. Alright, now let's go battle this trainer. Uh, we'll save the double battle till when we leave Fortree City, I think. Because why not? And then we'll battle this guy, we'll battle Steven. And I think there's an item in a cave in that water once we get the, uh, whatever it's called. Ooh, Armaldo. Interesting Pokemon. Wish I could have had one. That'd at least be something different. Because typically you don't use Armaldo until, like, way later in the game if you use him at all. Yeah. Alright. Oh, wow, that gave us a lot of XP. Wow. That was a lot. Alright. Well, time to go battle, or talk to Steven. Hello, buddy. Hmm, Tracy, hi. There is something here that you can't see, right? Now, if you use this device on Invisible Obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it. Uh, I should just show you. That'd be more fun. Tracy, your Pokemon ready for battle? Yes, they are. I like how you can see Kecleon's shadow. I think that's pretty cool. Now, the question is, what's this Kecleon gonna be? A Cyndaquil. 
Interesting. Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have had a Cyndaquil on my team. Oh boy. I could have just avoided running into the grass at all. And then used this as this route's encounter. But I didn't do that because that would be very smart. Level 34. Nice. So now we can swap in something else. I see the battle is intriguing. I literally just surfed it. It's not that intriguing. But thanks for the Devon scope. I really appreciate it. We're going to use it to go to the gym and hopefully defeat her and not lose a Pokemon. That'd be really cool. And then you're just going to fly away on probably your Skarmory would be my assumption. Uh, we could have gotten a Mistrevis on this route. Interesting. Oh, we can uh, swap out Georgie now for something. Uh, we'll go with Zipset. Level that up because uh, Shadow's already level 34 and Belly Boy is extraordinarily slow. Alright, so what are you going to be? I don't know what that growl was. A Hitmonchan. Okay. Interesting. Uh -oh. oh, well, at least you're paralyzed. Uh, I'm going to go for a Horn Drill. Um, good one. That did so much damage. I can, I can do it. I can do this. There we go. Horn Drill actually hit. Hit Monchan, do be a gong gong. And then I can get this item. Soft sand, hooray. That was uh, so worth it. I think there's an item all the way back here. It's, oh, Mudkip. That, that would have been a fitting water type Pokemon. I wouldn't have minded Mudkip, actually. So I could have had like an entire team of uh, Hoenn starters by now almost. And we're level 34, so now I can probably put Snorlax out front when we get to the gym. I think Sunny Day is typically in here, or Overheat or something. TM22, alright, so what's this going to turn out to be? Whatever it is, it can be taught to my Blaziken. Um, TM's up to 22. High Jump Kick. Oddly enough, I think that's something a Blaziken might actually be able to know. And I don't think you can run into any Pokemon in here, so... You can in the later games, but uh, in this generation, no Pokemon will spawn there, even when fishing. So, we're just going to avoid that altogether. And there's an item up here that I want to know what it is. And... Click. Nest ball, okay. Well, at least we got something different, okay. But now we can go heal up and then we are gonna take on this gym. I really wish this Pokemon in front of Fortree City would attack us, but it's not gonna do such things. Zip across the bridge just like that. Hopefully this gym leader, uh, Winona, I believe her name is, doesn't have anything crazy. A lot of the gym leaders lately have just had outrageous Pokemon on their team. So hopefully we don't run into that. And we can go ahead and put Snorlax out front. Switch you, there we go. We do have Nessie on our team. I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue. And then we'll just click on you and you're gonna run into the trees because we scared you away. All right, well, this gym is the puzzly gym, isn't it? Yes, it is. Boop. Why, hello. Behold, the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon, even though you're not likely to have bird Pokemon. All right, so what do we got here, Stacy? Ah. Oh. Oh. Um. I don't like that. I'm just saying. No. Oh my gosh. What rocks like? Get out of here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna yawn you. And hopefully that. Get, hopefully he doesn't get a crit when he does it next time. In fact. No, I, I don't want to risk Georgie. I have to risk Georgie. Although I know we're already going to have to leave the battle. Or leave the gym. Uh, just to heal up. Uh, don't use anything crazy. Thrash isn't too bad. And you should be getting put to sleep this round. Right. Buffed by the sandstorm. Yeah, yeah. Alright, perfect. It doesn't matter that you're asleep. I think Surf is going to one-shot you anyway, so. Right. Hopefully, anyway. It dis didn't, but I mean, you're still asleep, so I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, Tyranitar. That was scary. At least this person's only got the one Pokemon, I believe. Right? 
Yeah, okay. Well, time to go back to the Pokemon Center already. And we're back. Hopefully this guy's got something, or this lady has something that Belly Boy can take on. Taught you personally, which means you should be the best, then why are you like the second person in the gym? Shouldn't you be like the last person in the gym? Well, that makes sense. Stacy again, what is going on? So many people with the exact same names in here. Uh, I'm just gonna use Headbutt. Oh, don't confuse me. That'd be annoying. Uh, you, you did exactly what I said, don't do. That's very rude. Can we break through? Enough to, um... I'm already slow. Why would you do such things? There we go. Snapped out of confusion. And then we've made it through the battle. Nice. And we can move on to the next one. Uh, this gym is just going to be so annoying to not beat because I know exactly how to do all of these puzzles because I've done them like six million times. It's just do using the controls of a keyboard in order to beat them. I've never done, so that's going to be a little bit on the um, ouchy side. We're definitely going to need to heal up multiple times through this gym, I'm feeling. Abra, okay. That's something we should be able to take on nice and easy. A um, couple of headbutts. You're just going to try and use teleport repeatedly because I think that's all Abra can ever learn. Nice. Alright, so what's your second Pokemon? Is it going to be equally as useless or what? Swellow. Okay, well that's a normal Pokemon to have in this gym and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, we should be able to still take you on relatively easily though. My main goal here is to use Body Slam and Paralyze you. That way I can outspeed you unless you use Quick Attack. I should be beefy enough to take on your um, stuff though. Oh, wow. Okay, well I didn't paralyze you, but I almost killed you in one go. So I guess I'll take it. Uh, why? Ah, uh, no, why? Oh, I'm an idiot. I, I thought that was Bite. I don't know why I thought that was Bite. I think it was poop poop. Just, um, from using Fralligator repeatedly. Alright, well hopefully you don't use, um, Double Team again, because it's just gonna make it even harder to defeat this gym. If you're repeatedly gonna do that. I might just use Rock Smash. There's your Quick Attack. Rock Smash did hit, so nice. Swallow's gone. On to the next trainer. We're actually not doing too bad. We might not actually have to go to the Pokemon Center. It's gonna depend. Alright, on to the next person. I remember being stuck on this puzzle so much as a kid. But it's actually super simple. It was literally just that. And then this is the last guy, actually. I didn't have to battle you, but I mean, I guess I will. Just for the XP. Because I would like my Snorlax to be level 34 for this battle. And you are going to allow me to get to that level. Alright, you have three Pokemon. Voltorb, okay. That's a decent one. Uh, whether or not it's gonna get us all the way up to the level we want, I don't know. Oh, Belly Boy is just so slow. It's a good thing we have, like, massive defense. Oh, wow, we killed that in one go. That was surprising. Pleasantly surprised. And we're level 34, perfect, so we don't actually have to stick with uh, Belly Boy. We will, though, because Murkrow's not going to be too hard to take on. Yep, heal yourself up, Belly Boy, and then we go and take on Winona. Body Slam should probably take you down in one go, would be my assumption. Just because you're a tiny bird. Alright, easy sauce, easy sauce. What's the next one? Soul Rock. I'm swapping in Georgie for that because we are going to surf the crap out of it. And then I, just because uh, we haven't used anything else, but I am going to go and heal up after this battle, I think. Why, hello, Soul Rock. I just thought I'd surf you. I killed a couple of you while training Georgie. It's only fitting that we uh, take you down in the gym, too, because why not? Soul Rock fainted. Georgie gained 900 XP. Soul Rocks give you a pretty darn good amount of XP, to be honest. All right, and now we can move on to Winona. But before we take her on, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heal up, so I'll be right back. All right, we are here and we are ready to take on Winona. Whether or not I wanna start out with Belly Boy, I don't actually know, to be honest. 
I mean, we're, we're just gonna go for it, why not? I am Winona, I'm the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I have been one with bird Pokemon and I have Sword the Skies. However, uh, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace, witnessed the elegant uh, choreography of bird Pokemon, and I, even though it is not likely that you'll have a single bird Pokemon on your team. Which is good, because for all Terry in the games is something not to be messed with. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you have a whole bell sprout. Ooh. I mean, fine by me. Are you really gonna stun for me? Uh, please take it down in one go. Because I just now want to get Valley Boy out of here. He's already slow and now I'm paralyzed. It's just not really a good combination. What do we have next? Shroomish. Okay, that sounds like a savior chick uh, thing. Because we can just uh, blaze kick it. I'm hoping to get... I don't know. Oh, we're not even going to learn Flamethrower. We're going to learn Overheat. And I don't know if I want to get rid of Blaze Kick for that. I might get rid of that for Peck, though. Yeah, I think that'll definitely be the way to go. Okay, so she seems to be a Grass-type gym leader. That seems to be what's going on. Shroom has fainted. Nice. Gained 417 XP. Perfect. Use Dust Clops. Alright, so that we're going to bring in Shadow for its pursuits. I guess we could have brought in uh, Georgie for its bites, too. But oh well. Dust Clops. Alright. Take you down nice and easy, hopefully. And hopefully whatever Winona's last Pokemon is, it isn't going to be completely outrageous. Because that'd be pretty cool. I'm, I'm kind of over gym leaders having legendaries at this point, And I would like to just get through a gym battle without having mild heart attack. Oh no, you astonished me. And then we just got all of our health back, so thanks a bunch. Boop. Pursuit, thank you. One more pursuit after this, and Dusclop should be gone. Actually, she might heal up her Dusclops. Eh, Confuse Ray, that's gonna be a little bit on the annoying side, isn't it? I don't, I hate Confusion. I have so much, I have terrible luck with breaking through Confusion. And yeah, use the Hyper Potion. Ugh. Oh boy. Well, this is going to be a, long, uh, a little bit more of a long-winded battle, battle than I had planned on. And I don't think... Um, oh, I only got the crit there, so I guess that takes out one extra move. And I broke through the confusion, which is also sweet. Do I get two crits in a row? No, I don't. Uh, you are also using Pursuit, which is going to do absolutely nothing to me, so hooray. The question is, is does she have a second... Um, Hyper Potion that she's going to be using on Dust Oh! <laughs> Stop it, Winona. You are not being cool. Alright, well, it's time to just break through this battle. There we go. I was not sitting here repeatedly dealing with that. Alright, what is your last Pokemon going to be? Heliper. Alright, so another Pokemon that we can easily take down. No Legendary. We made it through nice and easy. Perfect. One Thunder Punch and this thing should just be gone. Sweet. Let's go. Zip Zap, finish it off for us. And Pelipper do be gone though. And then off with a crit. Perfect. Super effective. Pelipper fainted. Zip Zap gained 1100. Or... No. Yeah. 1159 XP. Perfect. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. I, recognition, in recognition of your prowess, I present you with this gym badge. Tracy got $3,300. Thank you. Tracy received the feather badge from Winona. Also, thank you. This double battle coming up for the next gym badge should definitely be interesting. I wonder what both the Pokemon are going to be. One of them is definitely going to be legendary because, you know... My luck. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, including those received for trades, will obey your every command. You will be able, also able to use Fly outside of battle, and this is skip from me. Which TM is it going to be? TM40. Alright, what's TM40 going to be? Hopefully it's something useful. Whatever it is can only be learned by a Flying-type Pokemon, unfortunately. But, oh well. Uh, TM40 is Rock Blast. Okay. I don't think we have anything that can actually learn Aerial Ace, which is the move that she was going to be giving me originally. And the way TMs work is 
if the Pokemon can learn what the original DM was, they can learn what the TM is now. So, like, if a bird Pokemon was on my team that could learn Aerial Ace, uh, it would now be able to learn that Rock Blast TM. But unfortunately, we don't have one of those. But let's just heal up our Pokemon, and we can now start heading over to the next city. And we have a lot of work to do before we can even do the next gym, because I believe we have all of, like, Team Aqua to deal with right now. Uh, before we can even do... Well, we could take on the next gym afterwards. I guess it doesn't matter, but we do gotta get to Moss Deep City and Lily Cove, and that's just gonna be fun. But I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Rest in peace for our big fishy boy, Nemo. It was so unfortunate. If, if I had read the text and not sped through it and saw that it was Tangela, I probably would not have kept I. Uh, Nemo in, so that was a mistake on my part. I'm sorry, Nemo. But that is all for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell. YouTube things. You guys know all of what to do, and I will catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.